everybody, welcome. Another unboxing. I've got a fantastic parcel from the Seven Cat Studios. Um, as most of you may already know, my Scout Trooper bucket has seen better days. As you can see, there's a massive hole there. Massive hole there. There is buckling all around right here, right there, at the top. This has had a rough, rough day. Uh, did a face plant into the ground. Unfortunately, my head was not in it. So I needed to replace it with a new bucket. As I said, this is from Seven Cat Studios on Etsy. He is a member of the Garrison, I believe out in New Jersey. Correct me if I'm wrong. I talked to my friend Terry Chu. Terry Chu has a magnificent eye for armor and uh, style. He's our resident Wikipedia. So I decided to talk to him. He showed me this Etsy page and we decided to go for it. So. Here it is, unboxing. I've already cut it open here. I'm sorry if this is part of the satisfying part. Let me reenact the moment. Oh yeah, there you go. All fantastic. Cutty, cutty, cutty. All right, let's open it up here. I'm genuinely nervous about this because I don't know how it looks. I've never bought anything off Etsy. This is actually my very first purchase off Etsy. So let's see what's inside. All right, so far the packaging seems pretty standard, but still nice and safe. One layer, two layers, there it is in there. Let's lift it out. Oh, it looks like it's upside down. Oh, there we go. It smells, it has that new bucket smell. I kid you not, it has a new bucket smell. I love it, maybe it's the paint, I don't know, but it smells great. All right, so before I unveil this, this is based on the Lone Wolf design. It's their interpretation of it. Lone Wolf is one of the older versions of Buckets, which is quite popular. I believe it's cast from originals now. So this is based on that design. All right, let's open it up here. Oh, look at that. How do you do? Look at you. You're looking great, smelling great. Got some fluff in there that's just dust. Oh, I can see the difference. I can see the difference already. And I'm liking the difference. Open it up here. Inside is the chin strap, which I might consider wearing. I don't typically wear a chin strap because the old bucket was too small. First of all, let's just take a look at this. Really nice. I love the grooves under the eyes. Matches my eyes. Looking really nice. I think I might have to paint it black inside. There might need to be some little work done on the inside. Obviously, there's not a lot of uh, padding or anything. That's up to me to do. So for the ear holes, I definitely have to paint it black. Has the fish hook there. Let's open her up and see. Oh, it opens up nicely. Yeah, that's a really nice opening. So let's give it a tour and then I'll do a compare and contrast. So here's the front. There's the side. The back's looking pretty nice. Do have some questions here. I'll take another closer look at that in a second. There's the stickers. It's actually slightly uh, beveled, or not maybe beveled, but it does have a raised feel. That's the word I'm looking for, a raised feel on the stickers there, as well as here, a raised feel. There's the other side there. Of course, the fish hook. And there is the nose. Now let's compare it to my original, which was an Altman's. I'm already seeing a massive difference. I'm going to change direction here and I will um, show you in a sec. So here are our buckets again. Uh, the seven cats over here. This is my friend Jamie's bucket. His is not damaged, so I thought I'd bring this one out. It's the exact same Altman's bucket, just weathered. Uh, so if you see some blacking and stuff, that's weathering. So side by side, we can see that the goggles, the lens here is a little bit bigger than this one. The hood of the visor is raised up just a little bit more but we also have a longer jaw it just gives a little more of a square jaw on this side than this side and this is the reason why i wanted something like a lone wolf the lone wolf i noticed had quite a longer jaw and will fit my jaw a little bit better i always found that the altman's as nice as it is 
It's a little small on my head. Thankfully, the balaclava hides most of it, but I notice that my chin hangs out below quite a bit. The Greeblies in the front are pretty identical. It's a little thicker here than it is here. It doesn't bother me too much either way. I'm digging both styles. And the Seven Cats, I still, I think I believe, have to take this off a little bit more. So I just have to clean up the inside, but pretty decent. Lots of space. Again, the logo on here is a little thicker. It seems different on this one than my other Altmans. Here's my Altmans and the logo is actually bigger than that one and thinner than this one. Again, just comparing, none of it bothers me. It's just pointing out differences. The backs are pretty much identical. The stickers here are slightly raised on the black part. This one's flush and flat. These ones are raised here as well, just the same as this one. These ones on the Seven Cats, it seems to be a little bit smaller, but again, not a big deal. They are a lot more pronounced than this side, than Altman's. It is thicker down on the neck than in the back here, but that's probably why this is much wider and longer on the chin, just adds to the length. In the Altman's, it was all black on the inside. Something I kind of wish was on the Seven Cats. I wish the black was, it was black on the inside. It would have saved me some time, but it is, it feels spacious. I don't typically wear a lot of padding on the inside of my bucket, but maybe that was because this thing was so much smaller on my head. And I don't have a bit large head. I have a pretty average size head. I feel this one's better for those who have a larger head. Just taking notice of this piece here. It looks really good. Pretty identical to Altman's. I am noticing some gapping in the visor here. That might need to be fixed, fill in the gaps a little bit. With it not being painted black on the inside, that does have an impact on the ears. It does need to be black. I'll put this on and we'll take a look on the difference there, but I'm pretty sure it needs to be black on the inside, just so you, it hides everything else. So let's pop the sucker on and see what it feels like. There is no padding, but we'll just pop it on anyways. All right, let's try this. This is my original Altman's. I'm gonna pop on here. So as you can see, as I talk, the chin is much lower. It does pop below the bucket. So a lot of my photos, I would have to tip it down like this so you can hide that. The balaclava did hide a lot of this, but it did come down. I never wore a chin strap because I didn't want it to be more pronounced. So there is the Altman's. Now let's put on the seven cats. Okay, so here's the seven cats here. I think I'm gonna get high with the paint fumes. <laughs> I'm liking this already. I will raise it just a bit because I do have to put some padding at the top there, I think. I'm liking the shape. I'm liking the visor. <sighs> One thing I'm noticing already though, that's a bit of a drawback. This is tight. It's scratching me right here and right here. It's hard to get off. It's okay to get on, but it is tight on my jawbone. Again, my head's pretty average. I don't have a large head, I don't have a small head. I feel my head's pretty average, but this was a bit tricky to get on here. Maybe I just not putting it on right. Let's try it again. Well, gotta do it, I have to do it that way. Okay. So that's on. Oh, wow, that hurts a lot. Oh, <laughs> it just scrapes me right there. Are we good? I gotta figure out how to do this. Maybe I just need to put some cushioning or something like that. It's good thickness. It's a good thickness of the plastic. Let's do it again here. Oh, it's, yeah, it's painful to put on. Okay, I had to pull it. Um, <laughs> I'm having to kind of pull it out a little bit to pull it off and pull it out to put it on. It's not a lot of pull. I'm hoping that won't be a big problem, but it is a bit of pull. I think I can work with that though. I think I can work with that. I can figure this out. Some other things I'm noticing as I look at this bucket, um, I'm gonna be critical because you know it's money spent, right? Could have been a nice little a cleaner job on the cleanup there at the end. Only I'll notice that. Nobody else will notice that as I'm putting this on or off or walking around and trooping, but it's what I notice. The paint job's 
pretty good. Um, a nice finish. There is some parts that could have been tidied up a little bit more. It looks like there's a fingerprint there or so. It is really nice. I mean, this, there is no seams all the way around, up around the sides, no seams whatsoever. I mean, there's a little bit at the end here. Like I said, the polishing, there is a slight bump on the visor there, slight bump. Probably I will only notice. <laughs> I mean, stuff like this, like, like I mentioned that little the fingerprint there. If you weather it, I think you can hide that, no problem. And honestly, can you see it from there? <laughs> you can't, I can't because that's all I look at now. But I mean, these are small little things. I will be nitpicky. It's uh, like it's money spent, but it's it's great. It's fantastic. I haven't even told you the cost yet, which is another reason why I bought this. We'll get to that in a sec. Nice, I like it. it. I really do like this. I really like this a lot. I am concerned about this. Like, can you see that I'm scraping my, my face there? Try to put it on over time. I mean, this is what I'll do in a troop. I'll be putting this on and off. Yeah, I have to pull it out by my thumbs here. Take it on, take it off. I'm wondering if that will cause stress at all over time. One thing I also just noticed was the, <laughs> one other thing I just noticed is the holes right here. I believe that's for chin straps. I'm not sure. I never had that for my old bucket. Uh, I never wore chin straps. So I guess that's what that's for here and here. Yeah, I guess the strap goes like that, I guess. Maybe I should wear a chin strap. It looks good though. It looks clean, a little, Nick a paint, nick a paint, as they say in Faulty Towers. O'Reilly. O'Reilly's paint job. This is better than O'Reilly's, okay? If you ever f watch Faulty Towers, better than O'Reilly's. That, that's, 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 that's a positive. One other thing I noticed is the hood of the visor is not as angled as the Altman. Altman's, I'm exaggerating here. Altman's goes a little further out like this. This one's a little straighter up. I like the shape of this. I really dig it. It's a nice, I like square geometric shapes and I'm digging this style. All right, so the final verdict on the Seven Cats Scout Trooper helmet. First of all, I want to tell you about the price. I I've been avoiding that discussion uh, until now. For Seven Cats Assembled, it came to about $400 Canadian. I believe that's four, four twenty-five Canadian, about three sixty-five, three seventy-five American. If I'm wrong, it's right here. Plus shipping, plus uh, duty and stuff like that. It came out to about five fifty, close to six hundred dollars. But cast from original, based in England, it was eight hundred plus Canadian for the bucket alone, without the two hundred for shipping, and probably an extra what eighty dollars for. Uh, duty or customs or whatever. So you're, it's like $1,100, rough and dirty. $1,100 versus five, $600. That's a good deal. I really enjoy this, this bucket. The pros, the shape is based on the old Lone Wolf style, which has that longer jaw and the longer line, the angled part here, longer on the nose. I love the shape of the visor. It's built well. It's got all the doodads you need for a scout trooper bucket. So far it fits nice. It looks great. The visor is extra big compared to an Altman's. And I do like an Altman's. It's just a little bit small in my body. The Altman's came about the same price, I believe, as this one as well. The negatives, um, not not really big negatives. There's, you know, the tiny cleanups, the, the, the finishing touches could have been a little bit more, but it's really good. And just getting it on and off is gonna be a bit tricky. I'm gonna to have to try and figure that out. And I kind of wish it was a little more finished with the edge piece here, as you can see. I didn't finish that part there. And I wish it was black on the inside, but um, those are small things. Uh, it, it means a little bit more work for myself. As for dealing with three, uh, Seven Cats as a company, as an Etsy company, he was really good. I, he's a member of the 501st. He knows what to expect. He knows people's expectations on their armor. With small hiccups of life issues uh, aside, the delivery was pretty on point. Um, it just takes long for anything to get to, to, get to Canada. <laughs> That's just the way it is. But he was always in contact when something uh, needed to be delayed or to be updated. So he was great to deal with. So uh, kudos to you, sir. I'm really liking this bucket. I'm looking forward to trooping in this. Um, my next troop is not for a while now because it's just at a down season. And it'll give me time to just do a little bit of an update in here and uh, all that sort of stuff. Really liking this bucket, liking the shape. And I know my buddy Jamie, my co-host, has also purchased a bucket from him. And I know he'll be pretty proud of this as well. So uh, we're both looking forward to wearing our new buckets in our next troop. 
I hope you dug this uh, really more in-depth look into a scout trooper helmet. I really love this volunteer job. I wish it was a paying job because this is something I enjoy doing, you know, helping charities out. And I want to look good. It's important for me to feel good and look good in the costume. I want to look as realistic as possible. And this helps me do that. I feel less self-confident about the chin and I feel I look great in this. So um, great job, Seven Cats. Link to Seven Cats Etsy store is down below, and I totally recommend it. I'm going to give them five stars as soon as I finish this uh, recording and as soon as I finish the podcast, which i got to do in about half an hour. But you're definitely giving me a five star, sir. I love it. And um, I do recommend this for someone who lives in North America or Canada and can't afford something in Europe because it does double the price, if not triple the price at times. So this is good for all you uh, Yanks and Canucks out there. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, I do a whole bunch of other stuff on my Scout Trooper costume, my Reese costume, my Nine Nun costume, trooping. If that's what you dig, this is the YouTube channel to check out. I got shorts and everything. Like, subscribe, help us grow, help us get to 500 subs. All this other stuff, such as podcast, video game playthroughs, it's all here. Hope you enjoy it. It's a modern look into your retro lifestyle. So thanks for watching. Remember, armor is built on hope. Talk to you later. Bye.